uh, significant food allergies. He was allergic to wheat flour, for example, and to milk. So um, uh, within about uh, six hours of entering the Navy, uh, he was um, uh, in a terrible state physically. His face had all blown up. And he was sent to the infirmary. It was discovered that he had these food allergies. Uh, he was put into sort of a brig confinement area for about a week. And then he was given an undesirable discharge for it, for it discharge because of his physical allergies. What broke his heart, uh, uh, along with not being able to be with the rest of the sailors, was the fact that he couldn't apply to any other branch of the military at that point. And so all of his plans of being a cryptographer uh, were thrown out the window in the next time most of his uh, World War II years as a civilian, teaching cryptography to others and uh, teaching the Any other questions? Could, could you speak a little bit more about his relationship with Kenzie and uh, Pomeroy? Wardell Pomeroy? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's, well, it's interesting. Uh, he adored Kinsey, and Kinsey was really, I mean, the, the influence of the um, uh, sexual um, behavior in the human male was hugely, uh, profoundly enlightening for him, because uh, for many people who had grown up with homosexuals but not known enough about homosexuality, the sense that it was a moral failing uh, was imprinted very strongly in most people's minds. Uh, people like Havelock Ellis had thought um, that homosexuality existed across populations. But through the statistical research, the te taxonomical studies that Kinsey engaged in by interviewing thousands upon thousands of American men in the course of doing those studies, it became very apparent that homosexuality existed across the United States at all levels of society, uh, and that there was a, a, a continuum of sexualities that is uh, that the world was not divided simply into heterosexuals and homosexuals, but that there were people who uh, were sort of in the middle. Uh, you, you could be primarily heterosexual and have some homosexual contact during the course of your life. You could be primarily homosexual and have some heterosexual contact during the course of your life. As in fact, Sam was. His girlfriend, Annie Curtis, was a woman that he had sex with, I think, 66 times, and uh, was very close to. But he was primarily, of course, homosexual. Um, so uh, that study uh, was was so profoundly uh, enlightening for Sam that um, he, he began to think of Kinsey as a kind of uh, Superman. He described him as Dr. Prometheus in his diaries, the man who, uh, this god-like man who had uh, brought enlightenment to the, to the human race about sexuality. Um, uh, he also developed a friendship with Kinsey because they had a lot of, a lot of things in common, including that very strict Methodist upbringing, um, but also two very disapproving fathers, and, and a desire during the course of their lives to address the significant emotional uh, uh, turmoil that they'd experienced relating to their sexuality through uh, a rational approach to sexuality, a study of sexuality. Um, Kinsey had, of course, uh, been a much harder working fellow and had been less um, beaten down over the years uh, because by moving from zoological studies into the studies of the human male, um, he had a much clearer path in the research. Um, so, to make a long story short, they developed, Sam had a, Sam really adored Kinsey, but he also became friends with him on, on, on an elemental basis. The other people who were involved in the um, creation of that volume, Sexual Behavior in the Human Male, were um, all portrayed pretty well, I think, in the um, Kinsey movie. There was uh, Paul Gebhardt, uh, Wardell Pomeroy, and Clyde Martin. It was a team of four men who were involved in the, 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 um, t doing these interviews across the United States. After Kinsey died, there had always been a little bit of a competition um, uh, among uh, uh, Pomeroy and Gebhardt. And in fact, it was Gebhardt who was chosen to lead the Institute for Sex Research after, after Kinsey died. And Pomeroy, um, I think, didn't like that so much, and so he left and went into private practice in New York. Um, of the, uh, of, and Clyde Martin was a, the, a younger associate who was really doing a lot of assistant work. Uh, he was also the most physically attractive of the four guys, and they would always uh, joke by, uh, well, one of the one of Kinsey's favorite things to do was to send Clyde Martin into the room. Uh, and then observe to see if Sam would hit on Clyde Martin because uh, Clyde was sexy and, um, and uh, Sam, of course, had a very high sex drive. Um, uh, but in fact, the friendship that was strongest was with Paul Gephardt. Uh, Gephardt was um, almost entirely heterosexual. I would say entirely heterosexual. He found it, he found it impossible to have sex with other men. Um, 
actually interviewed Gephardt uh, and had a very nice lunch with him when I was out in, um, at Bloomington uh, doing my research at the Kinsey Institute. He's in his late 80s, early 90s at that point. And um, uh, it became clear that they had an incredible sense of humor that they shared. And that, that, that sense of humor and that sense of attachment is very clear in the correspondence that Sam engaged with, um, at, in with Gephardt uh, during the late 1960s when Sam was trying to find his, his new way in, in San Francisco. Pomeroy was a little bit more problematic. Although they had a cordial relationship, Sam thought that uh, Pomeroy, who was a very good looking man um, and very proud of his ability to seduce both men and women, um, uh, Sam thought that he, had a, he was a little bit uh, too much of a, a narcissist and too, um, uh, uh, a, little, a little too proud of his good looks. Uh, and as a result, there had always been a kind of a standoffishness. Sam didn't like competition, and he didn't like meeting other people who were skilled at seduction. So I think that maybe the, the edge between them was already there. But I think also that Sam's closeness with Gebhardt led um, Pomeroy to dislike him a little bit. At the same time, it should be said that in the 1970s, when Pomeroy moved to uh, the San Francisco Bay Area and was running a, a Center for Sexuality Studies, um, Sam very gladly assisted by coming out and giving a series of taped talks on his own sexual experiences during the course of his life uh, as a favor to Pomeroy and, uh, and thanks for um, Kinsey's having allowed uh, Stewart to work at, with and for the Institute for Sex Research.